Police say in the Madison Park neighborhood of West Baltimore, they found and arrested 70-year-old Gregory Hightower. Detectives took him into custody on Robert Street near McCullough Street. It's a real shock. The allegation, and you know, the allegations could be right, but I very, I really don't think that they are correct. Hightower is accused of molesting two children in separate incidents in the area of Gwynn's Falls Parkway. 11 News Investigates has learned he was charged with sexual assault in 2021, but found not guilty. Community activist and president of the Matthew Henson Neighborhood Association, Marvin Doc Cheatham, is glad the arrest happened without anyone getting hurt. My sentiments is, is praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for bringing him in. Cheatham says he has known Hightower for more than three years. He hired Hightower to paint all of the benches in this neighborhood park and the allegations do not match the man he knows. Very nice guy. He has two nieces that he does great work with them. He's active in the church. Cheatham says he was disturbed Monday when police and members of the U.S. Marshal Service Fugitive Task Force came to North Monroe Street between Presbury and Baker Streets and attempted to serve a search warrant at Hightower's home. Hightower was not there, and Cheatham says he began to worry and talk to Hightower several times, urging him to give himself up. Yeah, I wanted him to, you know, let us know how can we help turn himself in. Uh, and I'm glad, you know, if he has, in fact, turned himself in. Cheatham also considered the action taken by police in the neighborhood too much. You know, the number of police that they had here, they blocked off our neighborhood for three and a half hours. We could not do any movement anywhere around it. Uh, you know, had that many police uh, rifles on the cars, you know, pointing at the house. Uh, we, we, didn't, we, we think it was, it was overkill. Police have not said if Hightower turned himself in. They do tell us that they took him to an area hospital after he complained about a pain in his leg. Once released from the hospital, he will be taken to central booking where he will be officially charged. Reporting from West Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.